Welcome to another Sniper Side online training lesson. Today we're going to talk a little bit more about moving targets. As with the last lesson, we have an in motion mover behind us. We're going to be using that as part of our demonstration. Between 100 and 500 yards with a 308 or something pretty close. The rule of thumb is a half mil per mile an hour. So a one mile an hour target, someone that's walking very slow at one miles an hour, would be a half mil hold. That's not taken into account the wind. That's only strictly the mover based on time of flight, distance, etc. We have a very small window to shoot this target. How we set our body position up is going to matter. It matters when we're close as well as it matters when we're farther away. So let's go and take a look at that. Okay, here we're going to demonstrate the movement our body would make with the extremes. This is simulating as if we were closer to the target, a 100, 200 yard mover, and how we would adjust our natural point of aim using our hips. We still want to index down on the rifle. We're going to come in, get it in the shoulder pocket. Now, it's coming back towards the left, so we line up on the left side of the target. That's an impact. Now, we move our whole body and shift it to the right side. impact. That gross shift movement keeps our natural point of aim and prevents us from muscling the rifle. Just like that. Your natural point of aim is really important. You don't want to compromise that by muscling the rifle using your shoulders if you can help it. Move your hips and move your whole body so that way that you're tracking with it. It sometimes requires a bit of a hop so you'll see yourself kind of scooting along with it. I use my toes to bring up my belt line, then I shift my weight over and I bring my body in line with that so I maintain my natural point of aim. It's not like a handgun where you'll unwind yourself because you're compromising that by, by torquing the body. We're not looking to do that. The, the handgun is independent. The rifle is part of our body. So we have our target down range, and even though it's uh, pretty far away and we technically don't have to move that much, we want to understand we can't go so fast as to get us ahead of ourselves. With this mover, as wide as the track is, and it's not very wide, it's moving about three miles an hour, that we don't want to um, shoot more than we can successfully hit the target. For me, in this mover, that's only three hits a pass. So I'm doing three hits, getting myself back in my head, three more the other way, so a full pass is a total of six for me. If the match director said, you guys have 10 shots to hit this target. I'm not going to go for 10. 10 might get me so fast that I'm going to take myself out of it. And instead of the six hits, I may only get four. So I'm going to pace myself and maintain that good solid sight picture. Something to think about when you're engaging moving targets. Track along with it. As you can see, when I do miss some targets, I can see the results and call it immediately and I know what I'm doing. I can bring myself right back on. Maybe it's a change in the wind. We, ha we have some shifting winds going on here. So that little bit of change where it's up and it's down is going to result in about a half mil change on my mover. That's wider than the target's wide. So just like now, the wind's picking up. If I'm shooting during that gust, that's one hold. If I shoot during the lull, that's another. And it's a bit more critical with the mover because it's changing from direction to direction. So think about all these things when engaging a moving target. There it is. And a 
again. We have about five, six MOA of wind. So we would run the bolt and we're just moving the rifle and the scope so that the five MOA is on the target. Impact. Run the bolt. 